What do you mean by a power diode? My name is Rishi Ranju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask the obvious question, what do you actually mean by a power diode? Well, let's find out. So we know what a basic p-n junction diode is. That is when we take a p-type semiconductor and when we place it along with an n-type semiconductor, we get a p-n junction diode. Here this is the anode and this is the cathode. So this is a basic p-n junction diode. So a power diode is basically just a p-n junction diode in which certain changes are brought to its structure so that it has increased power handling capabilities. So this is what we refer to as a power diode. That is simply just changing the structure of a particular p-n junction diode so that it would have increased power handling capabilities. So therefore the symbol of a power diode is given like this. So this is basically the symbol of a power diode. So now what are the changes that we bring forth to a p-n junction diode to obtain a power diode? Well, let's find out. So now let us take a particular p-n junction diode which is placed like this. So this is a basic p-n junction diode. So we just saw that in order to increase its power handling capabilities, we have to make some changes inside this p-n junction diode. So the first change that we make in this must be the doping. So here the semiconductor region that is directly connected to the anode and the cathode must have very high doping and the region in between this must have a very less doping. So for that what we do is that this particular region like this over here just this region where it is connected to the anode that region is heavily doped with a p plus type of semiconductor that is this is a heavily doped p plus type semiconductor and then here we make a division like this and this area consists of a lightly doped n minus region whereas this area consists of a heavily doped n plus region So here therefore a particular junction has been created and this particular region is made up of a lightly doped N minus semiconductor material and the lowermost layer which is connected to the cathode that layer is made up of a heavily doped N plus type of semiconductor material. So therefore this particular region which has got a lightly doped N type semiconductor material is referred to as the drift space of this particular power diode. So therefore when we observe this structure and compare to the structure of a regular p-n junction diode which was just a p type semiconductor and an N type semiconductor. So when we compare this with this structure the difference that we observe here is that it is provided with a lightly doped n type semiconductor material in between the p and n region which acts as a drift space so therefore this drift space is responsible for the high power handling capability of this power diode so this thus is the basic structure of a power diode as simple as that there's nothing more to it as simple as that so here this particular thickness is given as 10 millimeters that is the thickness of this p plus region and next this thickness that is the thickness of the drift space that thickness can be varied with respect to the breakdown voltage that we require in the reverse biased condition. So this is WD. So this thus is the basic structure of a power diode as simple as that guys. So here the depletion layer width is more which contributes to the high power handling capability of this particular power diode. So here the drift region it controls the reverse biased breakdown voltage of this particular power diode. That is if we require a higher value for the breakdown voltage of this particular power diode in the reverse bias condition then we have to increase the width of this particular drift region so here in the drift region it is lightly doped and hence because it is lightly doped the resistivity is high and since the resistivity is high therefore the on state voltage drop in the case of power diodes will be comparatively higher so i mentioned a few things here reverse bias breakdown voltage 
on state voltage all this so what are all those so to see that we have to draw the iv characteristics of this particular power diode so well let's plot the iv characteristics of this particular power diode so here in the forward bias condition that is when the anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery what we observe is that as the voltage increases the characteristic goes like this it stays here 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 up to a particular value over here and this particular value is what we refer to as on state voltage and here in the case of power diodes the on state voltage is approximately equal to 1 volt so this is 1 volt so after the on state voltage when the voltage is further increased we can see an iv characteristic curve like this this is the forward bias characteristics of a power diode so now let us see the condition where the particular power diode is connected in the reversed bias condition so in the reverse bias condition the anode is negative with respect to the cathode so therefore in the reverse bias condition when the voltage is increased in the reverse bias condition we observe that the current does not increase but as the voltage increases furthermore we can see small increase in current which is the leakage current that is present here and after a particular breakdown voltage a huge current flow is observed like this that is a large amount of current starts flowing so this is the point where we say that breakdown has occurred that is there is a huge outburst of current at this particular point so this is the breakdown voltage of this particular power diode so guys this basically sums up what you refer to as a power diode so in this video we discussed what basically a power diode is and the structure of a power diode along with the IV characteristics of a power diode. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by a power diode and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.